Hey everybody, this video brings us out to the east coast of Florida. And the reason why we're on the east coast of Florida is because we're here at Flagler Beach. I've actually been out here maybe, I don't know, once before, I think it was, uh, maybe five or six years ago. It was September, October at the time, somewhere around then during the, uh, the fall, the fall season. And the, uh, the beach was actually quite dead at that time. I would think that Florida would just never really have an off season. The beaches would be packed pretty much all year round because it's pretty much nice down here all year round. But I don't know, I guess maybe the beaches in Florida do have off seasons like they do up north where I'm from in the Jersey Shore, Delaware Beach area. So comments down below, if you're actually from Florida, do the beaches down here have an off season? Because when I was here in October, September of like five or so years ago, all the stores down here were closed and there was nobody on the beach. That is not the case now. This place is packed now. There are tons of people down here. All the parking lots are full. It was actually hard for me to find a place to park. I did find a place, but it was not easy. I did not park at the uh, the Pelican parking though. I parked uh, down the road in an area where it's gonna be very difficult for me to get the van out of. So maybe I, I should, maybe I should have parked over here in the Pelican parking area. Probably could have got myself backed out of here a lot easier than on the side of the road where I, where I parked. Probably not the smartest area. In fact, when I pulled in, there were a whole bunch of Pelicans flying overhead, like a flock of Pelicans were flying overhead. It was actually pretty awesome, pretty cool, but they seem to have, um, I don't know, gone, gone down that way somewhere. And A1A here is quite hop and there's a lot of cars, a lot of motorcycles. Apparently motorcycles are big here. A lot of signs saying, welcome motorcycles or motorcyclists or whatever the signs were saying. So apparently lots of motorcyclists here in Flagler Beach. A lot of surfers as well. A lot of people down on the beach surfing and bodyboarding and whatnot. It's pretty awesome. I'm I'm enjoying the fact that it's it's beach slash shore season again. What do they say? What do they say in I mean this is Flagler Beach, so I'm guessing maybe in Florida they say beach. If you're from the the northern east coast, it can depend on where you're from, whether you say shore or whether you say beach. I'm I'm a Delaware man myself. My family had a had a beach house in Delaware. So I'm used to saying beaches, but with that being said, we used to go to the uh, the Jersey Shore a lot as well. So I guess uh, I'm not a novice when it comes to the shore. I'm just more of a beach man myself. What do they say here in Florida? Do they do both? Do they say beach? Do they say shore? And what do they say? What do they say where you're from? When you go to the ocean, what do you say? Do you say beach? Do you say shore? Do you say ocean? What do you what do you say? Comments down below. Anyway, so again, we're here. Flagler Beach, my second time ever here. Really had not planned on stopping here today. It was kind of just a spur of the moment sort of thing. Had to film something for you guys today. So I figured, you know what? It's only a three mile detour off 95. Why not pull over and check out the East Coast? I just want to go down to the actual beach and, and touch the water. I've done that before. That's the whole reason why I was out here again, like five or six years ago, is because I just wanted to touch the, the Atlantic Ocean from Florida. I had never done that before. I've touched the Atlantic Ocean many times from Jersey and Delaware, but never from Florida. So I wanted to do that again five or six years ago. I did do that. I think today we're maybe going to do that again. Look at this giant anchor here. This is awesome. Look at that. There's also a dolphin over here as well. That's pretty cool. I love weird roadside things. I'm going to say a, a large dolphin and a, uh, a large anchor are considered weird roadside things. In fact, there's a really cool roadside thing I want to show you down here that I walked past while just checking the beach out. Look at the 7-Eleven. I kind of miss 7-Eleven. We, we still have 7-Elevens around us, but they're all, they're all closing down and becoming sheets and Wawa's and um, Turkey Hills and stuff like that. 7-Eleven used to be a big thing where I was from. Now it's like, yeah, you come across one every now and then. Look at this, the, the Z-Wave Surf Shop. How amazing this place since 1988. I love the look of this. I'm gonna have to go into one of these stores. I wanna try to find maybe some postcards for patrons. I'm gonna get like a magnet or a sticker for, for Vanabelle. I'm gonna get hit by a, by a Bronco. But look at this, I had to show this to you guys. Look at the Bob's Big Boy here, look at that. This is not a Bob's Big Boy. This is um, a completely different store, but I mean, look at this. How cool is that? How often do you just come across a Bob's Big Boy just sitting on the side of the road, especially on A1A? Every time I say A1A, I just immediately think of Vanilla Ice, right? Is anybody else down, any of you guys think Vanilla Ice when you think of A1A? That's just, every time I say that word, I can't help but think of, of Vanilla Ice, but look at this. How awesome. 
awesome. This is this cool store, the Bob's Big Boy out front. That is, that is awesome. I love the weird, the bizarre. I love strange roadside things. This is at, uh, looks like Wham Burger. I love that they have a Bob's Big Boy out here. That is too cool. In fact, I'm kind of hungry. Maybe I should get a Wham Burger. Oh my gosh, they have a little Big Boy. I've never seen one of these before. Is this a thing? I've never, I've never seen a little Bob's Big Boy statue before. That is, a, that is a first for me. I'm sure I'm gonna get comments down below telling me, yeah, these are a thing. They're all over the place. I've never seen one. I've seen the big ones. I've never seen a little one like that before. That's pretty amazing. That is awesome. So again, here at Flagler Beach. And it is beautiful. I have to cross A1A at some point. I don't know exactly know how I'm gonna get across. I don't see any crosswalks. That's the issue I'm, I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing, oh wait, there's a crosswalk down here. We're good to go. But I'm thinking about maybe getting a burger. I'm kind of hungry, haven't had lunch yet. There's all kinds of other interesting, like a Tuscany Italian place here. There's Bahama Mamas. It's like all kinds of trinkets inside there. I'm going to get, like I said, a postcard or a magnet or a sticker or something for, for Vanabelle. Maybe some postcards for patrons. That's what I'm thinking. But I want to actually go down to the beach or down to the shore, down to the ocean and physically touch, touch the water, see how warm it is. See if the, the Atlantic Ocean in Florida is warmer than it is in Jersey and Delaware. My assumption is it would be. I think we can actually maybe cross right now. I think we technically have the right of way, but we are in Florida, so <laughs> I think maybe having the right of way doesn't necessarily mean much here. Look at this. Look at the amazing funky pelican wall here. Somebody actually drew a Mickey Mouse. Look at that. So you can actually write stuff on this wall. I'm gonna try to write write something on the wall. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. Retro rest stop. And now my hand is covered in green and green chalk. That's pretty awesome. So pretty cool. They put the sidewalk chalk out there. You can write your name, whatever you want to write on the, the actual wall. That's pretty awesome. So like I said, I'm going to go down to the beach, touch the actual water for you guys, because it is beautiful out here. The, the, the temperature is amazing right now. Well, look at this. I don't know if the audio is being ruined by the uh, wind. It's very windy, but it feels really, really good. This is amazing. I love it. It's the first, like, the first time actually I've been on the beach for 2023. Haven't been to the Jersey Shore or the Delaware beaches yet, but now I can say I have. And I do have a hole in one of my shoes, so probably not the best idea. What the heck was a drone? So now my shoe is gonna be full of sand, but I have to do it. Can I do this without actually getting my, my shoe wet? Maybe. Maybe I can. Look at that. People out here fishing. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. I touched it. I touched the Atlantic Ocean here in Florida. And actually, it, was, it felt quite warm. Maybe that's a thing here. I don't know. Again, I've never actually been into the ocean in Florida. Are the Florida beaches warm? I guarantee you in Jersey right now, in Delaware right now, It'd be like 20 degree water. Water. It'd be, it'd be crazy, crazy cold. That's the um, that's kind of the downfall of the Jersey and Delaware beaches. Is that no matter what time of year you go, it's always very, very cold. Here, probably not so much the case. I'm actually walking underneath the pier right now. I have the song under the boardwalk stuck on my head at this point. We're not actually under a boardwalk. They don't have a boardwalk here in Flagler Beach. They do have a really awesome pier that unfortunately is closed. You cannot actually, you cannot actually walk out on the pier at the moment. There was a sign that said pier closed, no trespassing. So unfortunately we cannot go out onto the pier. I don't know if it was damaged during a hurricane or what, but as of right now, no pier walking. Pretty awesome. Let's go, uh, let's go up these stairs over here. So, all right guys, wanted to take this little mini detour on the way back home to Pennsylvania. 
where I can guarantee you it's not nearly as nice there as it is here right now because it is beautiful here right now. Again, the temperature is amazing. The nice breeze blowing. I do actually have my bathing suit in the van. Now that I think about it, I should have put my bathing suit on and done this video from the actual ocean. Maybe, maybe one of these days, I can't walk up this hill. Walking in the sands is a little difficult. Maybe one of these days on my way home, next time I come down here, maybe on my way home from Florida, back to Pennsylvania. Whew, walking in that sand is, now I see why people run in the sand. That is a, that is a workout. Anyway, maybe, again, on my way back from Florida, back to Pennsylvania, maybe I'll stop out here, put on my bathing suit, and jump in the ocean for you guys. And I am now officially, completely, 100%, out of breath, just from walking on sand. Look at the Salty Turtle gift shop. Definitely going in there. Again, looking for postcards, stickers, magnets, something to say. I've been here to Flagler Beach. If you guys have been to Flagler Beach, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've been here before, maybe you're from the area, or what is your favorite Florida beach? Are you a are you an Atlantic Ocean kind of guy? Are you a Gulf Coast kind of guy? Things crazy. I've actually been to the Gulf Coast before as well. I was out at, um, where was I? The Treasure Island, that area. So I've been to the Gulf Coast. I've put my, my feet, my hands in the Gulf Coast water before. I put my, my hand in the Atlantic Ocean before here in Florida. And once I move down here, I think I'm gonna be like, what? Two and a half, three hours away, either direction, either direction from the beach, whether I want to go to the Gulf Coast or the East Coast. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Definitely a lot of beach trips coming up probably in the future. But all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I have a lot of driving to do. I have to get back to Pennsylvania, hopefully within a timely manner. I'm going to try to bunker down, drive through the night, try to get as far as I possibly can. I'm hoping maybe like Virginia or something by tonight. It's a possibility. I could do it if I, if I drive enough, put enough caffeine into my body. If I pump myself up with enough caffeine and sugar, I can probably, in theory, make it to Virginia tonight. That's that's the idea. But all right, guys, I got to go look for postcards, stickers, magnets, things like that. But like I said, if you've been to Flagler Beach, leave a comment down below or just let me know what your favorite Florida beach is in general. I want to hear from you guys. Maybe I'll stop at one of those beaches someday. I almost stopped at Daytona. I, I saw a sign for the Daytona, but I decided to forego Daytona Beach. Oh, there's the Pelicans, by the way. Look at that. Those are the pelicans that were flying overhead a little bit ago. I'm hoping the drone does not hit them. Although the drone's probably scaring the ever living heck out of them. So I don't know who's flying that drone, but they got to keep it away from the pelicans because that's not, that's not cool. Pretty awesome to see the pelicans fly around though. I'm used to it in the Jersey Shore and the Delaware beaches where what you see flying overhead are just seagulls. They're actually surprisingly, there are no seagulls. Actually, now, now I'm realizing that's kind of weird. Again, as a Jersey Shore, Delaware beach person, I'm used to the constant call, call, call. The seagulls just all the time, day or night. It's just nothing but a barrage of, of seagull calls. Here, I don't hear a single se seagull. Do they not have seagulls in Florida? Just pelicans? Comments down below, I don't know. Again, I'm not a Floridian yet, <laughs> yet. I will get used to this. I will figure out how Florida works, how the beaches work. I'll get to know, know them. But right now, I don't really know them. So I need you guys to leave comments down below. And clue me in. Seagulls, are they a thing in Florida? Or maybe just not this part of Florida? I don't know, maybe the, maybe the uh, pelicans scare them away? I'm not entirely sure, but all right, guys, I am gonna let you go. Like I said, I have a lot of driving to do. Got some souvenir hunting to do quickly. But I just wanted to stop off here at the Atlantic Ocean, because I figured this would make for a fun video. But all right, guys, like I said, gonna let you go. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for links to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro, rest on t-shirts, and proceeds, both in Spreadshirt and from Patreon. It's a good help supporting the show and keeping the show going. So I really, really do appreciate it. Again, Flagler Beach, pretty awesome, pretty cool. Kind of jealous of everybody down there having a great time right now, knowing that I have like a 15 hour drive back to Pennsylvania ahead of me. Instead of hanging out here, soaking up the rays, playing in the ocean, maybe doing some surfing, maybe doing some, maybe I should take up surfing. Should I do that? I use a skateboard. Can I, if, I, if you skateboard, can you surf? Maybe, 
think I'll do that. Anyway, instead of having fun on the beach, I'm gonna head back into Vanabelle and drive like 13, 14, 15 hours back to Pennsylvania. Oh, the exciting times. All right, so like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. And what should today's hashtag be? I'm gonna say beach bod. Make today's hashtag, if you watch this video all the way to the very end, hashtag beach bod, which is clearly something I do not have. All right, like I said, souvenir hunting, trying to back out of my parking spot right on A1A, a very busy, busy road. Probably gonna be very difficult. Wish me luck. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.